Okay, we're back with another YouTube video, and in this we're gonna be building a mini Cine Lifter drum. This is gonna be the best one that I've ever built, and it's gonna be crazy and epic to fly. Okay, so for this build, we're gonna do a little components list. So this is the Straw Hat Sam Aerial Vulture Frame. It's like a mini lifter. Um, I'll link a thing in the description so you can watch it. This is such a cool frame. DJI O3 Air Unit. Hobbywing X Rotor 60 amp 4 in 1. Yes, see? <laughs> and this is gonna connect to the T Motor F7 Pro. This is a super good combo. We got a buzzer, Viflander 2. Here's the money banger. We got Brother Hobby Avenger 2806.5, 1700kV. Okay. Crossfire Diversity RX. We got the Immortal T's right there. And to cap it off, we got the Matic Sam M8Q GPS. Let's build this. Okay, so I just finished assembling the frame. There's three parts to this frame. And this is the bottom. And now what I have to do is I have to get the flight controller and the ESC. So here's the ESC and the motors and I'm gonna get those all soldered and tinned up and put on together. Okay, I just got the ESC. I got all the motor pads soldered. I got the capacitor and I got the XT60 lead on there. And now what I have to do is I have to take the flight controller and I've got the um, thing to plug it in and I have to wire and take this little clip thing and get all of these in the right places so that they match up with the plug on here because they're not compatible out of the box. So this is a Hobbywing 60 amp T-Motor F7 Pro. I finished soldering all of that up. So all the motors are connected to the ESC now and they're good. Everything was good on the smoke stopper and yeah, on to the next part. So the next part is I just need to connect the flight controller and the DJI O3. This is literally just plug and play. And then I need to solder the buzzer, the GPS, and the crossfire diversity. And then it'll be ready and we can see it fly. So I wanna give you guys a little tour of my workbench and show you everything that I have on it for this whole build. First off, here's my soldering iron. It's not very good, but it does the job. There is my toolbox with a bunch of other um, random tools and screwdrivers and things like that and FPV stuff. These are my helping hands. They're super nice. This is a fume extractor. I have, you know, just random tools everywhere. There's my tray for screws, mini screwdriver, solder, wire strippers, more wire, battery, liquid electric tape. Got a speaker, listen to some music. There's some high adhesive tape, zip ties, heat shrink, um, connectors, and then my computer over here. I've got the wiring diagram so I know exactly how to wire it. Finished wiring up the drone and I'm going to show you exactly what I have. So this right here is the buzzer. This cable goes right into the ESC. This is the crossfire diversity. So we got two antennas there and that's all ready to go. This is the GPS that goes right there. And then it's over here, but I have the air unit, the O3 air unit and this has that plug that just plugs in right there and I put some SMA extensions on here and then I have true RC's that will go there so that they can stick up on the frame all right guys I am back it took me a really long time to get this build finished but it is honestly so cool and I'm so excited I just have to get it wired up in beta flight but I'll show you everything. So there is the beast him 
himself. DJI 03, True RC, Crossfire, Diversity. This literally has everything. I gotta clean up the wiring a little bit, but I am so excited to get this thing in the air and see how it does. All right, good morning, everybody. So, it is the next day and I finished building the drone and I just wanna show it to you guys. So, here we go. Got every single part, every single thing on there. It is ready to fly. I can't wait. I got the Hero 11 Black on there right now. I'm planning to put this camera, which is the Sony ZV-E one in my next flight. So we'll have to see how that does in a little bit. But I got my Tango 2. I have, let's put them in a little case. I got my goggles too. We got two more batteries and we're gonna rip the heck out of these. So let's see how this drone does. I'm really excited to fly it. Okay, I got the drone set up and I'm gonna do just a little hover test to see what it's like. Just started recording on the GoPro and we're gonna do our first flight with the Straw Hat Aerial Vulture, the GoPro Hero 11. I'm gonna give you guys the raw um, video from the GoPro and I'll have myself in the corner. <laughs> That was freaking crazy. So, these are the batteries that I'm using. They're the China Hobby Line 2200 milliamp 70C6S. And they're pretty heavy, pretty big, but they fly this thing great. I am seriously freaking loving how this thing flies. It did crazy good and I'm gonna go ahead and fly a little more. So, there's another shot of it. Okay, I am about to fly it. This is actually probably the scariest moment of my life. But, here we have the Sony ZV-E1 wide angle Sammy Yang lanes. And I'm gonna see how it does. I'm hella scared, but let's go. <laughs> 